we're going to disagree on this, but those are all big stories, but the real big story today is Raw. You mean Sami Zayn? No, Raw. Just Raw. Well, we should talk Sami Zayn. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me go on with this. They did the AEW show on Saturday night. Yes. And all I've heard for years is, you know what Vince needs is competition. This guy has some competition. It's going to spur the old Vince. He's going to have to make change, blah, blah, blah. This was the first show after this AEW event, and they didn't do jack shit. Well, okay, so here's... Nothing. I agree. I don't. This show was horrible, especially the first hour and fifteen minutes. Um, I think that that was their idea. Was this is our counter? We're going to do all this stuff that's not. We're going to counter great wrestling by having an hour and fifteen minutes with no good wrestling. I don't. You think? I mean, they would. You don't think that they would have done that regularly? They would have just done the regular show. I think they went in there with this idea that we're going to do. You know, we're going to prove what we're better at which is not wrestling. Unfortunately, I agree with you that I'm watching this long period. I mean, like, okay, we went where well, there, I think there was, there was actually a Shane McMahon, Sean, um, um, not Sean Aluda, but um, um, Lance Anawai match. And um, aside from, which was, which was almost like not, a, even it was a, a minute. That's barely even a match. I know it was barely a match. And then the first, Real match was what the Iconics against Becky Lynch and Nikki Cross. Yes, way which was into the very show. bad. Uh, was it that bad? It uh, was pretty bad. Yeah, Becky I, tried to save it at the end with a pretty good comeback, but the rest of that match was not good. Yeah, um, yeah, it was a. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it like the whole show was built on the idea. I'll tell you what: when it comes to storytelling, so the sh- the last week you end the show with a big cliffhanger. And it's Brock Lesnar coming back, and he's going to announce who he's going to face. So they open the show, and you know he's he's in the first segment, and he's in the second segment, and then in the final segment of the show, um, it's Sami Zayn and Seth Rollins doing a match where um, Seth Rollins injures his knee. So you're going in there, and you're expecting okay. After this match is over, we know Seth's hurt. Brock's going to come in, cash in because Seth is hurt. And then the show just goes off the air with nothing, with no, like he doesn't even come out and then like laugh and, you know, like he played mind games. He just doesn't come out. The show just ends after, you know, and it, it, it's just like that's uh, when I'm watching it and I'm going like, wait a minute. I mean, what's the payoff of this? And so we this still is don't- two weeks in a row where if you invested three hours waiting for Brock Lesnar to cash in at the end of the show, you got screwed two straight weeks now. Fool me once. Yeah, I know. I it it was uh and this one, you know, I mean, aside from I think that um I think next Monday they're going against an NBA game most likely. Um I think if it's but if it's game five it could be a sweep, but but next week there's a good chance. But after that, you know, it's pretty much they're pretty much home free until football season when it comes to, you know, those real bad ratings. I mean, I don't think the ratings are gonna be good, but they're not gonna be um what they you know, the you know what they've been the last you know in the last month or so on some of those real bad numbers but still you know, maybe they will be because you know i mean there was not a huge bounce back after football yeah but i mean i, I just i just watch it and it's like all the things that that are that, that are the flaws in the show were certainly there tonight i mean it was just it was everything that that you say it's almost like I mean, this this show was their response to that, and it was almost scary that their response was what it was. I mean, it was just a lot of stuff. It was like that that backstage stuff with the Usos and the Revival. It was like they were having like a feud, and then they're playing like these games. It's like who, who comes up with this? I have no idea. You know, it's like they're trying to do being the elite on their freaking show. That you know, was this, not being the elite. Well, the silliness and stuff they, that's, that sometimes leads to something. Um, no, it's not. It, it's not because it's not. Um, but, you know, those. it was like I was just thinking about how all the stuff that Jericho is doing, um, you know, sort of Brian Pillman-esque stuff, you know, where he's, you know, like he wouldn't do, well, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't do anything essentially um, in front of people 
to be a fan you know you know you know on, on a positive way or anything like that like uh, autographs or anything like that because in in that environment because he wanted to be a heel and he didn't want to break character and these guys are breaking character so to speak these guys and granted usos and revivals not it's hardly a main event feud it's not even um it's, it wasn't even on the last pay-per-view it's just something that you know they're doing with those two guys four guys and um yeah i was i was watching that stuff and i was just baffled and then the r truth thing you know it's like if it was entertaining in week one because it was different um it ran its course already because i didn't i just thought it was i don't know what and um the wild card it's like they spent all that time with four guys and now it's just like there's no number or nothing it's just whoever they book and they don't even they don't even like they'll they'll do something like that and they won't even try to like give lip service or explanations and like we would give the um uh you know this whole way well the usos must be one person it's like we're just like overthinking it because they're not even thinking they're just doing whatever they've already forgot about this four people thing